Hey guys, I'm so sorry that we can't be in class together and I hope everybody is doing well and safe. But right now, the Energy family has asked me to try to get a video out for you guys so you can work out a little bit. Just something that's in your house. Use anything like a table, a chair, and we can work within our confines. So the first set I'm gonna show you guys is sitting at your chair and sitting in your chair and at the table. The first set, very easy, sitting upright. If you need to put your hands on the table, absolutely do so. If you don't need your hands, I just want you to come up and down, straight up and down. Perfect. If you can get your hands out in front of you, keep that rhythm going and you're going to count to yourselves a good 10, 15 times. So just going straight up and down. When you finish a good 10 or 15, I want you to come up and then come halfway down and hold. In your head, count, put some music on, sing to it, get going for about a good 20 seconds, stay here, arms out in front. You should start to feel your legs, your quads especially burning, booty is out, holding it there for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and take a breather. Hey guys, good. Okay, so now we're still staying in this theme of the chair near the table, but now we're going to be standing up. Having your right hand on the chair, I want you to have your legs a little bit shoulder width apart, roll those shoulders back, watch your posture. We're going to work the lower half of the body, so we're going to do some lunges going backward. So nice and easy. The only thing that should be moving is from the hips down, keep the upper body nice and quiet. So I want you to bend both knees and come back together. Sorry, ignore the dog. Sorry guys. Straight back and together. Back and together. Now my lunge is a lot lower than yours possibly. And that is so fine. Don't worry about it. If you have to go here, that's fine too. But make sure that both knees are bent, weight is evenly distributed on both legs, but no upper body movement. It is only for the legs only this one. And then you're gonna take that step back again, lunge down and together. We're gonna do the same thing like we do with the chair, 10, 15 reps, whatever feels good for you. Get out of your comfort zone. If you feel like, wow, I've had enough, try to give me two more. But push it to where you can, unless you have pain, of course, any knee pain, please stop right away. And then on that last one, holding it back, keeping both knees bent. You can hold onto that chair and stay here. Or if you feel adventurous, you feel like you've got this, your balance is good, keep those arms out in front. Open them wide and together, wide and together. As we're moving those arms, that's gonna challenge your core muscles and your balance. So you're feeling those legs burning and you're keeping those core muscles engaged. Five more, four, three, two, one more, and bring it in. Good, shake that leg out, shake those legs out, give it a little breather. We're gonna turn around. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So on this side, I had my right hand on, my left leg back. This time, my left hand is gonna be on, my right leg is gonna go back. The exact same thing, taking your time, roll those shoulders back, upper body nice and quiet, left, I'm uh, sorry, right leg goes back, step it back and together. Again, go to your range of motion. This may be too far. This may be perfect. Whatever works for you. Again, same thing on this side. We're gonna do a nice 10, 15. Keep it going, nice steady pace. Back and together. Last two. Good, last one. Holding it back here. Place that foot back, heel is up. Both knees are bent. If you can and you're feeling good, arms out in front one more time. Open those arms and close them. Open and close, but do not move your lower body right now. You're bending both knees, stomach muscles are tight. Out and in, five, four, three, two, good, last one, and together. Perfect. Shake them out. Let's go to the, uh, back to the first side. Right hand back on. Now you're gonna take that leg front. We did back lunges. Now we're gonna go forward with that left leg. Sometimes your balance is a little harder going forward. And especially when you come forward, you have to use your stomach muscles, engage those muscles 
to pull that leg back. What I'd like to see is after you come down to that lunge, wherever that lunge is for you, try to lift that leg up, hold it for a second, work on a little bit of balance, and bring it down. So lunging forward, pulling that leg up, and bringing it down. Going forward, pulling it up, and down. Great, same concept, 10, 15, whatever's gonna work for you. Forward, pull it up, and down. Two more, pull it up, and down. Last one, forward, pull it up, and hold. Now, you can either keep your hands here or pull them up. If you're feeling confident, stay here. If you can extend that left leg out in front of you and back in, you wanna put that hand down for security, absolutely. Straight out in front and in, out and in. Work that leg, eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold, three, two, one, and release. Shake, shake. All right. Exact same thing on the front side, on the back side. So left hand stays on the chair. Right leg is going front, doing the same concept. You're bending both knees, you're going forward. After you go forward, hold it there for a second, pull the core muscles up to get that leg to come back. Okay? So going forward, pulling it up, and drop. Forward. Pulling it up and drop. Forward. Pulling it up and drop. Forward. Pulling it up and drop. Forward. Up and down. Good. Same thing. If you got some more in the tank, you're going to do about 10, 15 more. Whatever you can do. Going forward and up. Last time, guys, for me, forward. Holding. Again, this may be the best you can do holding one hand on. Awesome. If you feel like you can challenge yourself, hands come up. Once you start extending out, you may have to put that hand back on that chair. That's fine. Whatever works. Extending that leg, bringing it back in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Is it nice that the dog cannot move, guys? I guess he just wants to be near me the whole time and driving me crazy. I apologize for that, but at least it's a little comic relief. Good, five more, four more, three, two, last one, hold, three, two, and one, and drop. Good, take a break, get a quick drink. Guys. Hey guys, I hope everybody got a drink, you're hydrated, you're feeling good. We did a lot of legs just now, we did some balance. Let's do some upper body. What I tell you to do is go to your kitchen counter. That's usually a good height for everybody. You're gonna put your hand shoulder width apart, get back onto those feet. Once you're stable, lift up those heels. So now this is a little bit more challenging. If you feel scared here, keep those heels down. But if you wanna challenge yourself, put those heels up. Think about an imaginary string, pulling your chest down to the counter. So you're gonna drop your chest, hold it for a second, and then slowly bring it back up. Notice I'm keeping my arms close to my body. I'm holding it down and I'm coming right back up. Try not to do this, okay? I'm splaying my arms out to the side. That's not what we're trying to achieve here. So what we're trying to do is keeping those arms, rolling them in, keeping them nice and tucked close to your body, coming down, holding one, two, and up. Now I'm gonna add a second each time we go down. So we're gonna come down and hold three, two, one, and up. Beautiful, back down again. Four, three, two, one, and up. Let's go down again. Five, four, three, two, one. At this point, it should start feeling challenging. We got six, seven, and eight. Let's do it. Drop it low, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up, 
Two sets to go. Come on. We can do it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. One more. Come on. Let's do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release for one second. Give those arms a shake. Nice. And now I just want you to give me a 12 all the way down and up at a nice steady pace. We're not holding. So get back into your position. Arms shoulder width apart. Feet either down on the ground, up on those toes. And let's do a nice steady 12. All the way down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, halfway, seven, eight. We got four, four more, three, two, one, and take a breather. Good job. Drink time, drink right, time. Guys. So we did legs, we did stand-ups from the chair, and we did some arms against the kitchen sink. The last thing we're gonna do is more of an ab exercise with a little bit of legs coming in and out. So I gave you a little bit of full body without having to worry about going down on the ground or doing any major cardio either, which we can tackle at another time. But for today's video, we're gonna finish off with some ab work. So what I say is, is try to grab a coffee table, whatever you have that's a little bit lower so you can lean into it and we're gonna do a plank. If you have wrist problems, you go right to your forearms or if you'd like to challenge yourself, you can do uh, straight arms as well your preference. It doesn't matter which one you want to do. I'm going to do the forearms for everybody. So I'm going to have my forearms on the coffee table. I'm going to take both of my legs, step back, go up onto my toes and have a nice straight line here. No butts up, no dropping down. One nice straight line, hence the word a plank. And I'm just going to hold it here. You're going to hold it for as long as you can. I'd like to say, let's start off with 10 seconds and then we're gonna use the right leg to activate. We're gonna bring it in and then come to the side. But just hold for another eight seconds. Seven, six, breathe, five, four, three, two, one. And now let's bring that right knee in, bring it back out, then go to the side and together. Repeat that again. In, back out, side, together. Let's do 10 in, 10. Out, nine, good, eight, breathe, seven, six, five, four, three more, last two, one, and now hold and stay, five, four, three, two, one. Walk your feet in and slowly come up for one second. Give yourself a break. Then we're gonna go and repeat the exact same thing to the left side. If you feel yourself slipping, because I have a sweatshirt on and you're slipping, you may wanna take that off just so you have some stability and you're not sliding forward. Last set. Again, this set, I'll do it with my hands up. You can stay with your elbows bent. Go into your plank position. When you're ready, deep breath in, blow it out. Good. Staying here 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's start the whole set with the left leg. So bring it in, tap it back out to the side together. Continue repeating that pattern. Go as fast, slow, whatever you can do. It's your pace. Again, if you have to come down, take a breather. That's okay too. Eight more. Out. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Last two. One more. Don't collapse on me. Hold it here. While we're holding in the plank, the last thing we're going to do is just walk in, walk out. Walk in, walk out. Give, me a sec uh, give yourself just a little bit of cardio, not much. Just coming in and out. Eight seconds, and we're gonna hold, and then you'll be done. Seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, last one, hold it out, and good, stay here. You're almost done, guys. 10, and we can finish. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and come in. And rest. Good job, guys. Get your drink.